All right, hello and welcome to another video on our YouTube channel. My name is Saul here from Asana Hydronic Technologies. Now, if you clicked on this video, I assume you already have a little bit of an idea as to what a hydronic fan coil is. But in this video, I want to go into how Masana controls can really efficiently manage hydronic fan coils, especially in relation to a radiant system. Um, and that's what we are known for. We have pioneered radiant heating and cooling via a radiant ceiling. But we've continued to develop our controls, and so now we can manage radiant floor heating and cooling as well. Hydronic fan coils in tandem with all these systems. We can talk to your domestic hot water, your heat pump. Uh, pretty much just providing an overall climate control solution for advanced hydronic systems. And so that's what we're all about. But today's video is all about Yaga hydronic fan coils. We've done a lot of projects where we use a radiant ceiling or a radiant floor. And these hydronic fan coils are incorporated as well to supplement the radiant system, um, as well as provide some other unique benefits. So before I jump into the insides of the fan coil, I just want to go over some cool logic that we have here at Masana in our controllers to manage these fan coils. So the first being the 0 to 10 volt fan speed. Uh, we can send a zero to 10 volt signal to these fan coils to indicate the fan speed. But when it comes down to comfort, a lot of our clients really want maximum comfort. And that doesn't just include thermal comfort. There's indoor air quality, daylighting, there's various other factors. Uh, and one is acoustic quality. That is very important as well. Our clients don't want to be hearing their system going and they want, you know, they really want silent and invisible comfort. Uh, and radiant systems are great for that. They're obviously invisible, obviously silent. Um, and so they're out of sight. They don't produce any drafts. You know, some create some level of convection, but it's not like you're dumping air from one space. And so our clients really try and avoid that air movement as well as the noise. And so that's something we can manage here via the fan speed. And so at a lower fan speed, we're obviously providing less drafts, less air is being blown. We're also decreasing the noise. So for example, if your home has a library in our app, you can actually set the max speed for that fan coil in that room to 50%. So you're never going above 50% fan speed. So it's always whisper quiet and you never really hear it. Um, another example in modern homes is you're seeing these giant wall systems where you can open your living room to the outdoors. You let all that outdoor air in. But when it comes time to shut those doors, a radiant cooling system might take some time to bring that environment back down to its ideal set point. Uh, and so that is when it's a really good idea to have supplementary fan coils. And so what we can do here is operate these fan coils at their max fan speed when you shut those doors. And as we approach your set point, we ramp down to minimize that acoustic disturbance, minimize any drafts that are going on in the home. Uh, and then as we hit that set point, the radiant system can take over because radiant is the most comfortable way to condition a space, but it is a bit slower than an air unit. And so we'll use the air unit to get back down to temperature and then use the radiant system to maintain that temperature. And then another cool feature of our controllers is that we can actually power some of Yaga's low voltage fan coils directly from our controllers. And so that really simplifies installation. And so let's get right into the inside of these fan coil units. First, you can see that they're covered via nice grills. This is the climate canal model. And so these sit flush in the floor. Here you can see we have silver, black, and gold grills that cover the fan coil. These are removable. Uh, so you can vacuum inside the fan coil if you need to, stuff like that, make repairs as well. But yeah, they have these nice rubber edges on the side. So you don't have to worry about the grill slipping and sliding or clanking, making any noise. They're also high heel proof, so they're fully walkable. And so when we take off these grills, you'll actually see that we have a hydronic coil as well as the tangential fan. And so that hydronic coil has the same water running through it that would be in a radiant ceiling or radiant floor. You can use different temperatures because this unit also has a condensate drain. So you can use really cold water temperatures for cooling, which really helps us maximize cooling output. But yes, you have a hydronic coil that has heated or chilled water running through it. Then you'll have a tangential fan pulling air in, blowing it through that coil to then heat or cool that air. And so as that air passes through the coil, it is heated or chill to provide heating or cooling. And so in cooling, a big fear is condensation, at least regarding radiant systems. And with radiant systems, we keep them above the dew point to avoid condensation at all times. That is what our sensors and controls do. But when it comes to a fan coil, these units have condensate drains. So we're not worried um, about condensation. That condensation will form and will drain it out. And we can actually use that to our benefit using some unique control logic once again. And so what we actually can do is operate the fan coil using chilled water, but at a really low fan speed. So you don't hear it. It's not producing any drafts in the room. You're not really feeling that. But what is happening is condensation is forming and it's being collected via the condensate drain. And so that is providing some level of dehumidification because we have pulled that moisture from the air. And since we've done so, that actually allows the radiant cooling system to operate using cooler water temperatures because we have lowered the dew point in the environment. And so by using the fan coils to provide some level of dehumidification, we can actually increase cooling output via the radiant system. And so with our controls, you, know, you can power the fan coils, you can control their fan speed, set up unique logic, whether it be you know setting a maximum fan speed or setting when they ramp up or ramp down based on meeting loads. 
And then we can also operate them as little dehumidification units. And so that really helps out their radiant system, but they are great and easy to add to a Masana system. So if you're interested, definitely go over to our website. You can click on the get started tab and you can actually input your project details, your square footage, your energy source, whether it be a heat pump or boiler, and you could choose, you know, radiant floor, fan coil, radiant ceiling. You can choose it all. It'll spit out an estimate regarding what you'll need for controls or what you'll need for, you know, a radiant ceiling system, pretty much everything. And if it's a little too complex, it'll actually just put you in touch with some of our hydronics experts so we can go over your project and, you know, what your needs actually are. And so we can see how we can help you out. Uh, also, I'll link all of Yaga's information down below because they have plenty of other fan coil units to choose from. This is an in-floor unit. They just released the Astro Beam that is pretty similar, but it sits in the ceiling really nice and flush. They also have on-ceiling options, in-wall, on-wall, plenty of options to choose from. So I'll link those down below. But as always, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Take care.